So, I'm Philama and this is World Box. If you see here, the map is very different from what you're used to. I mean, look in, uh, in, the, in Iberia. Catalonia has a kingdom. Valencia has a kingdom. Galicia. Brittany. Wales is, is separate from England. Scotland as well. Everything is different. Why? Because this is Europe after the collapse in 2099. And... I already see everyone with stealth bombers and zeppelins and everything. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Are they from Portugal? Let me see. This zeppelin is from Portugal. Yes. Is it? Is it now? Is it 2099 that Portugal conquers the world? The fifth empire. I think that's good. I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna happen. Let's go Portugal. That's what we will see today. So let's fast forward a bit while i look at the differences so oh, some people are already dying what oh they're dying of old age i just realized king marcel Souza. if this is 2099 he would be like 150 probably <laughs> i don't know how old he is but he's old he's old as fuck man oh so many people died yeah they're all dying out of old age i mean this is 4000 years old this map Marcel Rebelde Souza is 445. <laughs> How old is Putin? 247. That checks out, I suppose. So yeah, we have to waste a bit. Oh, they're all dying. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have a region here called Karelia. I don't know what this is. Komi Republic. I guess this is the north of Russia. Oh, Vladimir Putin dies. <laughs> Ainu. Finland is still here. Sweden. Estonia. Latgale, Latvia is still here, Samogitia, uh, Germany is split into many things, Bohemia, Saxony, Bavaria, Moravia, I don't know what that is, Austria, Switzerland is smaller, Swabia, Italy is split into Milan, Padania, the Vatican is still here unfortunately, oh we have wars, hit a huge conquest. King Kingdom of Portugal and Galicia are fighting Andalusia. So see, Portugal is already conquering stuff. Okay, that's good. I want to see that. I know it. Come on, Portugal. Use your stealth bomber. We did. Okay, we conquered this. Yes, that's good. And we are allied with Galicia. That's, uh, that's fitting. I think that's fitting. Village of Porto was destroyed. Oh, no. Okay, I will actually fast forward because this is a huge map. And because of that, I may not be able to see everything. Poland declared war on Germany. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's revenge for you, I think. Yeah, Germany is going down. No, no chance. There's so many Zeppelins and stealth bombers. So everyone has a stealth bomber now. Moravia declared war on Austria. Yep, they're getting bombed. There's so many bombers and tanks and... Belarusia declared war on Lithuania. Okay, all the wars are happening now. Okay, Lithuania is gone. Yeah. Frisia declared war on... Oh, so many things happening at the same time. Kosovo was destroyed. Morocco declared war on Russia. Whoa, that's random. That's so random. Why? Oh, there's so many people declaring war on Russia. Oh, what the hell? Look. So, Komi, Denmark, Sweden, Samogitia, Sapmi, Kaliningrad, Karelia, Norway, Estonia, Latgale, Ingria and Finland have declared war on Russia. So Russia is going down so fast. Let's see that happen. Oh, look, look at the stealth bombers. They just they just smack them. Bah, bah. I'm not sure if they actually send bombs or something. It's so funny to see them like smack, 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 smack. Oh, okay. They, they actually send these little rocket things, right? It's from them, I think. 29. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so the bombers send little uh, bomb jets, I suppose. Yeah, Russia is being annihilated so fast. Okay, Russia is pretty much conquered. Latgale, I don't know what that is, but Latgale is the new Russia. Oh, the game is lagging quite a bit. The game is not enjoying this. You see, it stopped. <laughs> I think... I think the game may crash eventually, to be honest. It's too many things happening at the same time. Too many kingdoms. Switzerland! Oh no. I guess neutrality only lasts until 2099. I can't believe this. 
The game is not enjoying this at all. <laughs> it's so many things. I, I probably need to fast forward so people can die, I think. Otherwise, my PC will look at me like, nah, too many people, too many kingdoms, too many wars. Meanwhile, while everyone is just killing themselves and you could come here in Iceland and you just see them chilling with their little bomber. The bomber is just passing by, sending pictures of the beautiful landscapes. When is declared war on Transnistria? No chance, I think. Yep, destroyed immediately. Okay, Italy is actually regaining land, as you can see. They destroyed the Vatican. <laughs> they destroyed the Vatican, I can't believe it. So they only need Sicily and Milan back, I guess. These stealth bombers are not very stealthy, to be honest. They just rain fire on you. Look at this. Everyone will know where they are. What's with the stealth bombers? What are they doing? They're, they're just shooting everyone. They're just pissing on Ireland. Look at this guy. Actually very curious to see which of the kingdoms end up ruling over, over Europe. I'm actually going to make it so that the top 10 kingdoms survive. Because we have so many. It's going to be impossible to see everything. So the top 10 will survive. I'm already imagining Iceland is one of them. These bitches. Look at this. Probably Denmark as well, because they're hiding in here. Oh, this is France. So France to Greenland. And Belgium to Denmark. Whoa, this is confusing. What the fuck is Valtonia? Luxembourg still exists. That's surprising. Croatia is gone. Greece has a chance to get really strong, because they, could, they can just take South Macedonia. They can probably take Romania as well. France is huge. What the hell? Greece has declared war on Italy. That's not probably the best choice. Milan declared war on Greece. Yeah, this is probably not the best choice, to be honest. Mm, no, they are getting destroyed. Greece, you fucked up. You had, a, you had a great chance. Now you don't. Now you're just fucked. Yeah, so Milan is now the new Greece. There was such a stupid decision from Greece. So... Milan now has a chance to actually do something. Milan declared war on Crete. Yeah, th these guys are gone. What the hell? Why is everyone fighting Constantinople? Why? They did nothing. <laughs> what the hell? They're just so small. Okay, Milan is taking Turkey? Yeah, I think Milan is taking Turkey. So I think Milan actually is becoming the one of the strongest kingdoms. Austria is pretty big as well, but they are fighting someone. Like, there's so many wars going on. They're fighting Romania. But Milan is fighting Romania as well. So, most likely Milan will just take them. Because Milan is just stronger at the moment. Yep, yeah, they are. They are taking Romania. They're also taking Ukraine. Holy crap. I think Milan is gonna win this. Look at how strong they are. So, Algeria took, took Italy, but... We technically still have Milan, the superior Italy. Yeah, they're fighting Ukraine. Everyone is fighting Ukraine. Everyone just allies themselves and just destroys everyone at the same time. This is actually amazing. They, they, they have almost the entire East. This is incredible. Milan declared war on Bavaria. Yeah, makes sense. So many cell bombers, I can't even see the game. <laughs> There's so many tanks as well. And the game is lagging so much. Milan took Bavaria. Only Austria missing for them. Austria is in the middle. That's so unfortunate. Currently France with a thousand population. Milan with 950. These two pretty much own Europe. Oh, Milan is being conquered. Oh, France is fighting Milan. Wait a minute. This is this is the, the, the battle for the ages then. Because whoever wins this will win the map for sure. Milan is pretty much doing what I expected Greece to do, because they actually did kind of what I said Greece should have done. They took, they, they went through the way I expected Greece to go, do you see? Greece was an idiot, why would they fight Italy? Okay, Morocco is now one of the strongest kingdoms, for some reason, and so randomly as well. They basically took Scandinavia, they took England, they took a bit of Germany, so random. But to be honest, also Milan... Milan being like this is so random as well. <laughs> Look at these. 
Jeep's just, just dancing. Look, look, look at this dance. Why did... Why would Austria declare war? They just say, okay, just eat me. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no chance. Is there? Well, maybe there is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but there are 45 people. How are they doing that? It's because they have loads of tanks. What the fuck? Morocco is helping out. But Austria is actually doing stuff. They have 25 people, though. Yeah, Milan is getting fucked. Because they're fighting Austria and France. And for some reason, even though Austria was really weak in terms of population, they, ha they are just kicking their asses. Mostly because of the tanks. And they're ganging up on, on Milan. I think we may have the Austrian Empire back. Look at this, they're destroying Milan. Ooh, France is getting conquered by whatever that is, Valtonia. And so much shit is happening. Milan kind of survived. Austria is also being conquered by Morocco. How is Morocco so strong? What the hell is going on? France is so small now. Valtonia took everything. Okay, Milan is gone. Austria's declared war on France. France is, has been getting left jabs by everyone. <laughs> France was attacked by Milan. Then was attacked by Valtonia. Then was attacked by Morocco. Now was attacked by Austria. No one wants them to be to, to live. Now v Valtonia is attacking them again. No one wants them to live. So currently... How many kingdoms do we have? Sar Sardinia has declared war on France. Oh, okay, but France is gone. Oh, yeah, oh, no, no, never mind. We still have France here. Morocco is so strong, man. Currently, Morocco is the strongest kingdom. Valtonia is the second strongest. Spain is the third strongest. And Spain is not that strong. So, so I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure it's going to be up to Morocco to win everything. So I think Morocco, who's not even part of Europe, one <laughs> one this European video. <laughs> what the fuck? How did that happen? Spain is actually doing okay. They took France. Valtonia is almost over. And I'm pretty sure Morocco will take everything. How is Austria still in Catalonia? <laughs> so strange. Okay, Morocco pretty much has the whole of Europe now. Unbelievable. Portugal is still here. So Portugal may still be one of the top 10. I'm going, it's not going easy though, because I see a lot of, lot of... Oh no, I think Portugal is going down. Oh no, 79. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we only need Valtonia to go down and another one. And we have the top 10. Maybe Portugal survives. Okay, Spain may lose. Spain and Portugal may lose both of them, actually. Not good. Okay, Spain was destroyed. How many do we have? We have 11. Where's Valtonia? There's one person. I don't think that counts. So I think this is it. I think this is how the world is now. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so strange. So we still have Sardinia. We have Mercia. We have Algeria. We have Gibraltar. Portugal. Scotland took... I guess this area of the of Russia, kind of. Ireland, Iceland, of course these guys are still here. France survived by taking Greenland, not somehow. And the big winner, Morocco. Amazing, and I was not expecting at all. <laughs> it's so weird, man. Uh, this is so strange. But it is how this game goes. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. Wait, 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 Morocco declared war on Portugal. No, 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 it's okay. We, we, it's over, it's over. No need to, to declare war on Portugal. So, <laughs> thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. No, actually, look at Portugal. Taking over Morocco. Oh.